Hi guys, Richard Butler here, Director of Education at PLR.me and today I have an exciting video and one that is terrifying me to make. Why? Because it's all about graphics and specifically talking about infographics. And what I wanted to show you today was how you can create an infographic using Canva. Now why is that terrifying? Because I am graphically challenged. When I mentioned this to Ronnie, I said, you know, maybe we could do a video about uh, how to create an infographic. And he said, sure, go ahead, you do it. I was like, what? I have to create a video on how to create an infographic. And he said, yeah, he said, I'm putting you up to the challenge. So I put on my big boy pants and I practiced and practiced and practiced. And I'm really pleased to say that I'm now going to show you how to create an infographic based on some of our content and how to do it in Canva. Now, all you need is the free version of Canva and you just need a little bit of patience. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the graphic that we're going to create. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go through the steps on how to actually create it. So get ready. On screen here, you will see the infographic that I created. And it is based on one of our reports, which is rich or poor your choice. So I thought, OK, I'm going to take the ideas from this report, create an infographic. That infographic I could give away for free and then it would link back to my sales page for this particular report or for whatever I'm actually promoting. So first of all, don't panic. You don't need Photoshop. This was all created using Canva, which many, many people love, and you can actually use the free version. So when I go over here, I'm just gonna log into Canva. Once you're logged in, you go to create a design, um, you go to infographic, and you will see that there are many, many infographics that you can actually use. And you can just select one of those and they'll come over here. So you don't even have to start from scratch. You can actually use one of their existing uh, infographics. And you're going to laugh because the one that I actually chose was this one here, which is the night before their wedding skincare routine. So let's just see this graphic here. So up here I had rich versus poor, you decide. So basically what I do is I just go in and I highlight the section here, rich versus poor, you decide. So let's have a look. The title here is what choice will you make? So I go in here, what choice will you make? And I want to reduce the size of the font. So let me bring that down to maybe 36. It comes up now. I can change the font style. If I don't like that font style, I can go in here and I can decide, okay, I want it to be this particular one. Do be careful because when you actually change the font, it will also change the size relative to that font. Now, any font that you see with the actual little king is for paid members. So I'm just going to use, I'll use Bayessa here, and let me just see if I can make this bigger. Now, what I can do is when the cursor is flashing in here, I can just make that bigger. So I'll change that to 45, press return, that's perfect. Now the next thing I want to put in here is, uh, believe it or not, it all goes down to how you think. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in believe it, believe it or not, it depends on how you think. Okay, and I want to bring that font up to 24. That looks okay. I could uh, maybe move that around a bit. Now, you'll see that I've changed everything here. So I had a piece of text, rich versus poor. So this is going to be rich, this is going to be Poor, and we're doing a comparison of both. So what I do is I click on text and I'll say add a heading and I put in rich versus poor. Now I may need to move this around a little bit later on. I'm going to delete all of this here. So I just click on this little button here, which is the delete button. And you will see that there's other objects here. So I'm going to get rid of those. Um, the word cleanse needs to be belief. So I'm going to just move my mouse pointer to this area here, like these arrows, and then move that over here. I want to copy this text. So I go over here to the plus sign to make a duplicate copy. And I do the same thing that I find this little um, icon here with the crosshair, and I just move this over here. And what you'll see is that there's lines that appear which actually help me align everything, which is very, very handy. So now right there, you can see that the lines are going across saying that everything is aligned. So I would enter in the text here. I would enter in the text here. I would go down to the next section and I would delete everything like I did before. So again, I'm not going to recreate everything um, because otherwise you will get bored. But 
I'm going to just check here planning. So I go in here and I type in planning and I move it as well. So I go here, then I'm going to duplicate this uh, box and I'm gonna move this just here. I'm gonna move it up a little bit to give me some more room. So I would continue to do all of this until I have everything changed here. Now I put in a, what I thought was a nice graphic here. So where do I get those? Well, if I just go to elements, when I click on elements, I will see the elements here. And if I see this little uh, symbol here, it means it's pro, but it means that what I can actually do is I can put the image in here, but, 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 and really important, it's going to have a watermark on it when I download. So just be aware of that. Otherwise you have to use the images that don't have that little icon. So I reduce the standard size and I look at the number that's coming up for the width and height. And I'm gonna bring this to 183, I think should be okay. I'm just gonna select that. Now see, sometimes this happens. And if you've selected something by accident, just click outside of the actual um, infographic and then try and select it again and then you can just move it up here. So that belief is a little bit big. So I'm gonna reduce it down to 128 and then I'll just move that in place. Now I may need to move things around a little bit as I go along. So I have the word planning here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the planning graphic that I had, which is this one here. And I'm gonna reduce this down in size and I'm gonna remember that I had it at 128 and I'll, I'll bring it to 126 and then I can uh, see what I can do there. Okay, so that looks perfect. So now you see that that graphic is starting to look more or less the way I had it. I have, for example, uh, want to make money from your passion and then I have a URL here. So again, what I would do here is I would just put in make, uh, want to make money from your passion and then I would go in here and I would put in a URL. As you can see, this is quite small, but you could zoom in yourself here. Now let's say that I finish everything and the spacing is a little bit off. Well, again, this is what takes time because I can just drag this down, making sure that everything is aligned and then just try and space everything out and get the layout a little bit better. So it does take practice. It's a really good tool. Canva's a really good tool. And here I think I'm just gonna make that a little bit bigger, etc. So again, what we've seen on the first two elements here, you would repeat for the other four elements that you have. So once I've laid everything out and I'm happy with this version, what I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna click on the download icon here and I'm going to, to use, I'm not gonna use the suggestion, I'm going to use a PNG. If I was a paying member, I could decide what size I want this to be. I could also decide if it was a transparent background and I could get it compressed so that it would be lower quality but a smaller file size. But since I don't have a paid membership, I can't do that. Now you'll also see here that it's asking me to pay for the five premium images that I've actually used. Well, I don't want to do that, so I'm gonna download a free watermarked draft. Now, obviously, if you want to use this, it would be better not to have it with a watermark, but let's see what that looks like. I go here, it's preparing my design. It again asks me, do I want to upgrade? And I'm just gonna say no to that. And if I have a look at that design here, you'll see that it comes up like that. Now, it looks kind of like what I had here. Obviously, I would still need to go in and do those changes. And if I go in, you will see that there is a watermark here and it says Canva on it. And same on this graphic. I can't really see it that much, but if somebody zoomed in, they would see it. Or once they spot it, they would actually know that um, it's a draft version. So that's how easy it is to create an infographic. And by creating an infographic from an article or based on a report, you're creating something unique that you can share with your audience. And people love infographics because they're easy to digest, the information is visual, and it's something I can print out or I can save onto my computer. If you have any questions, please do let me know. And I look forward to talking to you in the next training video. And that, as they say, is a wrap. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you want to be notified when we upload new videos, subscribe to our channel. If you think that uh, a friend might enjoy this video, 
and my antics? <laughs> Make sure that you share the video and of course if you have any questions do leave a comment below and one of the team will get back to you. And here's a video that I think you will like right there. I'll talk to you in the next video.